Number 5. Orki Dash Cam The DR02's camera sports a very wide 170 degree field of view which easily covers pretty much everything of interest in front of the car. Some cameras that opt for a very wide angle lens introduce a lot of distortion and a narrow depth of field to the image, but the DR02 manages to keep things looking quite clear with very little distortion even around the edges of the image. Sure, narrower fields of view like the 106 degree field of view of the Garmin 55 do tend to make distant objects look a bit clearer, but in the case of the DR02 we would gladly trade that distance clarity for a picture that covers much more area. The DR02's 1080p Full HD resolution shines particularly during the day, creating very clear images that provide you with all the detail you could want of your daily driving happenings. In general, the colours look good, though we did notice a slightly unnatural blue tint on bright days when driving towards the sun. At night, the DR02's video looks great, with good resolution and quite crisp detail. It also tends to make the most of any light around, so we had a very easy time reading license plates on all but the fastest moving cars. Once the DR02's G-Sensor detects a crash or something like it, it'll automatically save the current video clip as one that cannot be overwritten. You can set the clip length to 3, 5 or 10 minutes. This has more options than most cameras provide and lets you go a bit shorter if you want to save space on the memory card or longer if you want more of a guarantee that a protected clip is going to contain all the footage you need. Some models like the Vantru M2 offer shorter 1 minute clips for those that really want to save space. The DR02 can also start and stop protected recordings. Simply press the emergency button when you want to start recording and press it again when you're done. This is great if you come across an amazing sunset and want to make sure a recording of it gets protected from overwriting. The DR02 slim profile is also helped by the use of an adhesive mount. Adhesives allow the mounts to be small while still providing the same amount of stability as a much larger suction cup mount. The camera easily removes from the mount if you don't want to display your camera in the windshield while the car is parked. The Orki DR02 is both one of the best performing and most reasonably priced dash cams currently available. Number 4. Viovo A119 V3 Viovo has quickly made a name for itself by providing quality dash cams at low prices. If OnePlus made a dash cam, it would probably be just like the A119 V3. The V3 gives you a bit of a clue here. It's the third generation of this model and offers buffered parking modes plus time lapse. Video quality is very good during the day and good at night. The maximum bit rate is an impressive 30.8 megabits per second, and while you can select a lower bit rate in the settings to save memory on the SD card, this doesn't make much sense because you'd be sacrificing image quality. Video resolution goes all the way up to 2560 by 1600 pixels or 1600p. Most users prefer to run this camera at 2560 by 1440 or 1440p resolution though, which is a 16 to 9 format and the same width but a bit less tall. Lower resolutions are also supported, including 1080p at 60 frames per second FPS, and 720p at up to 120 FPS. However, we recommend setting the resolution to 1440p at maximum bitrate to achieve the best video quality. The A119 V3 uses the same wedge-shaped casing as the previous A119 cameras, thus it's just as discreet and functional as its predecessors, with a 2-inch screen and the 5 characteristic buttons below the display. The lock file button is a bit taller than the others and located in the center, so it's easy to find even without looking at the camera. Two non-GPS mounts are included with the camera. These two are of different thicknesses to help with various windshield configurations. A GPS mount is available also, costs extra, and it is slightly thicker than both of the non-GPS mounts. The GPS mount has a connector for the power cable, so you can easily remove the camera from your car without having to remove the cable. The inclusion of buffered parking mode will probably make this camera a bestseller in the mid-price range. We definitely recommend the A119 V3 if you're looking for a relatively low-priced dash cam with advanced parking modes and great video quality. Number 3. Rexing V3 The Rexing V3 is a dual-channel dash cam that can record two separate perspectives in full 1080p high-definition video quality. The wide dynamic range permits optimal recording in any lighting situation. The V3 2.7-inch LCD 1080p car camera dash cam features an easy-to-use Wi-Fi connection that allows you to view, save and share dash cam recordings wirelessly on your mobile device with an app interface. Power for our car dash camera is delivered by a supercapacitor, a premium alternative to a lithium-ion battery that features enhanced temperature resistance to hot and cold climates. This camera includes a loop recording feature. 
It supports UHS-1 Class 10 or higher micro SD cards up to 256 gigabytes. When the built-in gravity sensor inside the dashboard camera detects a collision, the current video is locked, ensuring that important footage is kept. Locked video will be safe from being overwritten. Internal GPS logger allows you to mark time, date, location, and speed information to your recordings. View, save, and share dash cam recordings wirelessly on your mobile device with the use of the free Rexing Connect app, available now for iOS and Android devices. With the parking monitor feature, the dash camera will automatically turn on and record when the car camera detects vibration or dash cam will capture frames for a time-lapse video for 24-7. Please connect the smart hardwire kit to activate the parking mode. When the storage limit is reached on the memory card, new recordings will automatically override the oldest recordings. Supports UHS-1 Class 10 or higher micro SD cards up to 256GB, sold separately. When the built-in G-Sensor inside the dashboard camera detects a collision, the current video is locked, ensuring that important footage is kept. Locked video will be safe from being overwritten. Number 2. Vantrue N2 Pro If you make some or all of your income from driving people places, whether it be in a taxi or as part of a rideshare service, we think the Vantrue N2 Pro Uber Duel is the perfect dash cam to provide you with solid evidence should a lawsuit or complaint be thrown your way. If you're not a taxi or rideshare driver, the N2 Pro is still a great camera, but is probably overkill. Earning the top score in this metric, the Vantrue N2 Pro Uber Duel was able to impress us with its footage at almost every turn. It's also one of the few models around that offers a cab-facing camera to record the driver and passengers, as well as a road-facing camera. We highly doubt anybody is going to buy the N2 Pro's video lacking. The N2 Pro's front-facing camera sports an incredible 2.5K 1440p high-definition resolution. This results in very clear footage that looks like it came from one of the latest smartphones. The colors are also quite vibrant, making the footage more than worthy of posting on social media if you happen to encounter something incredible on one of your drives. The N2 Pro's unique cab-facing camera provides both video and audio of the car's driver and passengers. Outside of rideshare and taxi drivers, this feature probably isn't useful, but for those that do often have paying passengers in their car, it can be a lifesaver in the instance that you need to seek compensation for damage done by an unruly passenger. When creating a time-lapse, you can select for a photo to be taken once every 1, 5 or 10 seconds. Those photos are then played back at 30 frames per second to create a time-lapse. This is a nice feature if you're looking to record a memento of an entire road trip. Just remember that in this mode, normal recording is shut off. The Vantrue N2 Pro is a fantastic and fully featured dash cam for rideshare and taxi drivers, but it's likely overkill both in terms of function and performance for most people. Number 1. Street Guardian SG9663 DC Released in November 2017, the Street Guardian SG9663 DC is a high-end front and rear car camera. Taking a different approach than its competitors, Street Guardian didn't aim to include as many cutting-edge features as possible. Instead, they focused on the basics – reliability, usability, and image quality. Let's start with the latter. The SG9663 DC records hands down the best video quality of all the dual-channel dash cams we've reviewed so far. At a video resolution of 1080p, 1920 by 1080 and 30 frames per second, the bitrate is 15 megabits per second for both the front and rear channels. With its stovey wedge shape, the SG9663 DC keeps a low profile on your windshield. If you'd like to avoid attracting unwanted attention while parking in a sketchy area, the camera is easy to remove from its mount if you want to take it with you or stow it away. It even comes with a useful pouch to store it in while off-duty. GPS logging is supported and an external GPS antenna is included with the camera. Speed can be displayed in kilometers an hour or miles per hour. A CPL lens is also included to reduce reflections in the windshield when driving in bright sunlight. This camera comes with a memory card included. You can choose between 32, 64, 128, 256, 400 or 512 gigabyte SD cards. The smallest card, 32 gigabyte, gives you just above two hours of total recording time while the 512GB card allows you to record an impressive 37 hours of footage before loop recording kicks in. To sum it up, this is an excellent two-way dash cam for beginners and advanced users alike. The built-in screen allows for ease of installation and operation, and its wedge-shaped body keeps it stealthy and discreet. Buying Guide Firstly, Video Quality This one is pretty important, as it'll dictate how much you'll actually be able to make out from the image captured. 
HD high definition is the thing to look out for as this will provide clear sharp video but UHD videos are twice the resolution of HD and 4K dash cams video resolution four times the size of HD are becoming more popular. The reason for needing such clear pictures is down to being able to see the smaller details. For example, the number plate of the car that's just collided with you and driven off, or the face of the person who's just tried to break into your car. Secondly, viewing angles. The viewing angle refers to how much of the road ahead or behind can be recorded. Dash cams sold at Halford start at about 120 degrees and go up to a full 180 degrees. In comparison, the human eye has a field of vision of about 140 degrees, so a 180 degree camera will capture more of what's going on at the sides of your car, important for collisions that happen at the side or corners of the vehicle. And thirdly, storage. If you're recording UHD or 4K video, the video files can get pretty large. If your SD card fills up, then the dash cam will just record over old, unimportant footage known as looped recording. This is normal, as it's likely you won't actually want to watch recordings of your daily commute, and any collisions will be automatically locked and won't be overwritten. The thing to take into consideration here is how much video you can capture before videos are recorded over. The higher the storage, the more footage you can record.